Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be working on another DIY and this one was the cause of that little one over there. Here he is, Mr. Blue. So I need to fix the wall because we do live on base, which means that they charge us a ton of money if we don't fix things or address them before we move out. All right, guys, this is the damage. Can you see the teeth marks in there? Oh my gosh. So moving on to the materials. These are the materials I'm going to be using for my project here. I will be linking them in the description box below. First, I'm going to start with some spackling and I will be using that directly on the wall and then I will be sanding that once it dries with this sanding sponge. Finally, I will add some wall texturizing spray onto the wall because my walls are textured. All right, you guys, so here I'm going to start by sanding the wall a little because there are some bits and pieces that are peeling off that I need to remove before actually putting the speckling on. So you grab your spatula and you put some speckling on it and all you're gonna do is just spread it onto the wall just like so. So at this point you guys I'm still feeling very confident about this project. I'm just spreading it, just going at it and then I start to realize that the more I put, the more speckling I put on the wall, the thicker it gets and then my spatula just wasn't working with me. It was just coming off as you could see. <laughs> I started using my fingers and tried to smooth it out with the spatula. It was just a mess. Look at that. Oh my goodness. However, check this out. This is my <laughs> patching. I am definitely going to need to sand this down really good. It looks terrible, but hey, learning. After I let it dry for about 24 hours because I put so much speckling on that it was just not dry. So after the 24 hours I started sanding and you know it actually looks a lot better now. I thought I was gonna have to call in reinforcements and have the husband help me, but hmm, this actually looks good. So I sanded it until I felt that it was smooth. <laughs> you guys clearly am an amateur because this is not turning the way I thought it was going to. After sanding it, I actually decided to put some more speckling on there to make it much more smoother because it just did not look good and so I attempted to go a different route and what I did was just as you can see grab some speckling with my finger and use some water to kind of smooth it out so I would just you know put some speckling and then dip my finger in the water and just use the finger to smooth it out with the water so after letting it dry for again another day, I went ahead and started sanding. But look at that, it does look much better than before. It actually looks smooth. Look at that. The water trick worked, you guys. Alright you guys, it's time to tape. The tape I am going to be using is frog tape. And finally, we get to texturize the wall. Yay, almost done. So all you do is just shake the bottle and you spray away. Yeah. 
and you guys here I am finished so now what I'm doing is removing the tape so that the texturizing stuff doesn't come off with the tape later when it dries here I came in with some primer to cover up you know some of the spots just to make it look a little even like nothing happened but it turned out that it was not the same color as the wall so I actually went to base housing because we do live on base and they gave me some paint that was the same color as the wall so yay I got that result. So here is the before just in case you forgot how bad my wall looked. And this is the final product. Please, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you liked my video, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up.